from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good evening, Center County. I'm student meteorologist Stuart Doherty here for your forecast for this evening, Friday, October the 18th, 2019. Take a look at our four cameras. Clear skies, bright and sunny over the Arboretum. Main story is just the clouds are clearing out for tonight into tomorrow for tomorrow's whiteout game. Looking at Beaver Stadium directly, home of the whiteout game tomorrow, it is sitting at 54 and partly cloudy skies, but it is clearing out. Looking at our neighbors across close to us, Altoona sitting at 54, Clearfield at 52, Williamsport at 59, and Sellings Grove at 58. And then taking a look out at the extremities of the state, 59 in Philadelphia, 62 in Harrisburg, 55 in Pittsburgh, and 52 up in Erie. The main story right now is we do have clearing clouds. The main bulk of the clouds are up in Erie heading south towards the Pittsburgh area and Somerset County. Have a few up in the northeastern part by Scranton, but again, no precipitation expected. Just clearing out for the day tomorrow, and as we zoom out, just the low that has affected the rain on Wednesday has slowly moved its way up towards Canada through the northeastern parts of the states. And then the main story tonight, it's beautiful. If you plan on going out to have a walk, have a party for the whiteout game tonight, pre-whiteout game party, or just feel like taking a stroll. Just looking at 51 towards 10.30, 11 o'clock actually. Looking at 43. But the big part is, as we get into the day tomorrow, we are looking at below freezing temperatures. This one has, has us going down to 28. I expect it to be a little bit warmer, but still below freezing. As we get into the day tomorrow during the whiteout game, looks like it's going to be awesome. 53 at 5 o'clock. But again, the big thing, freeze warning has been issued by the National Weather Service until 8 a.m. Saturday morning for the southern region of Center County all the way down towards Mason-Dixon line. So if you do have sensitive plants or crops, make sure to prep up and keep them warm for this evening because it will be freezing. Taking a look at our forecast for this evening, 31 clear skies widespread frost and again that big freeze warning that has been issued for the southern portion of the county winds should be calm to five miles per hour out of the northwest and as you get up tomorrow go to game day by espn looks like it will be 32 and chilly so make sure to bundle up if you are planning to go out and try to get on espn it will be awesome and then tomorrow's high we are looking at 57 and abundant sunshine calm winds and then for the big game tomorrow the big wide out he Looking at 57 during tailgating, 51 for your kickoff, 47 for your fourth quarter. So it looks like it will be perfect for if you plan to have watch the game outside on your porch or if you want to have a party while it's going on, just make sure to bring a hoodie and stay warm. And then as we look in our seven-day forecast, look at a low-pressure system that is going to go through Virginia and parts of Maryland. It won't affect us with precipitation, just a few clouds on Sunday. Monday will be magnificent in 64, it's bright sunshine. Tuesday it will be a dreary day. Rain will be making a comeback as a cold front will march, th advance through, throughout the east to, or west to east, bring us back into the lower, lower 30s overnight into Wednesday with a high of 51. But it will be beautiful, bright and clearing. And then Thursday into Friday, look at highs in the lower 60s and lows in the lower 40s. With your CNET weather forecast, I'm Stuart Doherty. Have a great night and a great weekend.